Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through our brand new Google Ads optimization checklist. Uh, this checklist really goes over every single thing you need to do to your Google Ads campaigns inside Google Ads to really improve them and see amazing results inside your campaign. We use this for our campaigns to really, one, remember things, and two, just make sure we didn't forget anything. Like, you can go through a campaign time and time again, and for me, it's almost on autopilot, but even pilots have checklists uh, when they're flying airplanes. So I think someone running a Google Ads campaign should also have a checklist. I think it just helps out, uh, allows you to remember things, making sure that, yeah, you did check things off last month or a week ago or whatever it is. Uh, but lo and behold, this is going to be the checklist. So as you can see here, it is in a Google Ads sheet, and it is very, very simple. It runs through all the things you need to do inside your account, review your keywords, review ad copy, uh, review the Google Ads recommendations, review payment, make sure your credit cards and debit cards are still working. And then once you actually do this inside your account, you can put the actual date you optimize it, any notes you may have, and then just check it off for done. Very, very simple. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, we have monthly, three months, and results. These are three different tabs. The weekly tab, you're going to be optimizing on a weekly basis. So all these things you should be looking at, you should be looking on your keywords on a weekly basis, uh, reviewing ad copy, making sure everything's working well, uh, really the things that really impact your campaign on a daily basis. And then when we come over here to monthly, uh, you can see the things we will be reviewing on a monthly basis. So again, reviewing your keywords, making sure you're getting enough search volume. This is more done on a monthly base basis. Uh, instead of an actual weekly basis, uh, reviewing auction insights, making sure, you know, maybe competitors have changed, maybe you need to increase your uh, budget, maybe you got to review your landing page, make sure you're testing new headlines, descriptions, social proof, so you can get a higher conversion rate, so you can get more leads, making sure your conversion tracking is working, the ad extensions are good to go, you're trying to improve them, the, the quality score is good, uh, reviewing your budget, making sure that your budget is actually being spent and you don't have an, a problem there, uh, bid optimization, so days of the week, locations, de devices, demographics, audiences, all this stuff should be reviewed on a monthly basis. And like the previous uh, tab there, you can just check this off when it's done. Put your last optimized date and then your notes. This keeps it nice and organized and allows you to make sure you don't forget anything. And if anything pops up that you want to come back to, you can always leave it in the note tab. Maybe you're watching a certain keyword or something like that and you're like, you know what, this is at nine clicks. I want to come back next week. I'll just leave a little note in there just to make sure I go back to that particular keyword just to make sure it's you know operating correctly then we can come over here to the three month tab i think three months is really when you should be looking over your business strategy and making sure that we are going to achieve uh what the business actually wants uh, are there any new services in the business business that maybe we should be going after instead of the services we are currently going after are, do we still want you know calls do we still want email inquiries do we only want calls uh, do we want leads? Do we want views? Like, what what is the actual goal of this campaign? Uh, has the budget changed at all? Uh, is there a new season? Like, these things are really important on an overall basis, but should only be taken into consideration once every three months. Uh, if you're doing this on a regular basis, you're going to screw up the campaign because you're just going to be changing stuff too often. But it's it's good to have an overall campaign strategy on what you want to achieve, and then going back every three months and checking this out. Also, making sure your bid strategy is correct and target CPA. If if target CPA is overperforming after three months. So say you're getting leads for $40 and you've set your target CPA for $50. That means Google's doing a really good job. You can then turn your target CPA down to $40. Just so Google understands that, hey, we can now move it down to $40 and try to improve from there. Again, same like last time, last optimized notes here. The final tab here is results. And this is really, really cool. I really like this. And it really just breaks down your actual performance month over month. So you can see total leads, cost per lead, cost per phone call, cost per email inquiry. And that's a big thing most people don't look at, the difference between a phone call lead and an email inquiry. This is actually pretty easy to determine. Just go into conversions and segment this out by phone calls and emails. Uh, and this this is really important because sometimes businesses only want phone calls. And if you're getting phone calls really cheap, uh, it may be worth just doubling down and only going after phone calls. It may improve business performance and vice versa with emails. Maybe emails perform a lot better. It's really up to your situation. Next is conversion rate, cost per click, total clicks, impressions, budget spent, and budget allocated. And I think this is just an awesome way to actually see, are we improving? Are we not improving? What, what needs to be changed? What are we happy with? What needs to be improved? And it just gives a nice 
this easy breakdown that allows you to see month after month your improvement in your account. You can also put the account start date just to understand when you actually took over the campaign, which is nice to have, uh, the campaign name and your business name. So that is the optimization checklist. You can get the download link down below for this. Uh, I really, really like this. I think it's useful and I think everyone should have some sort of checklist for their Google Ads account just to make sure you understand what you're doing and you don't forget anything because we're all human. We all make mistakes, but this is a really great way to make sure you don't forget anything and all the things that need to be optimized are optimized. So again, if you want this, the link is down below. Uh, check it out. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to hear from you. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.